Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I've been on a bit of a mission to do up my kitchen. I've already done a few little projects, but now I've taken the cabinets off the wall, repainted and I want to make some new shelves. I've taken some measurements and come up with a rough plan and I've got this roughly sawn oak to use. But first I need to get it run all through the thicknesser to clean up both sides. I would normally plane the first surface and then thickness, but they're just too long to be able to manage and they're flat enough that I'm going to get away with just thicknessing. But the edges still need cleaning up and there's no way I can do them on the planer. So what I'm going to do is get them set up on these saw horses and use the track saw. So I've got it laid out and clamped into place. Then I can run it along cutting a very thin strip to make sure one edge is perfectly straight. With all the boards done, I can then get that freshly cut edge run along the fence of the table saw and get another edge cut parallel to it. Now the ends need trimming up. And unfortunately, I can't use the crosscut sled on the table saw as these boards are too wide for my workshop. So I'm going to get them all clamped together and then get the track saw set up and trim all the boards at the same time. I get two of the boards cut at the other end to their final length and then roughly cut the other bits to their size and then I can finish making the precise cuts using the sled and the table saw. So I've got all the parts cut and they're going to make really a big box that goes on the wall but I want some internal dividers or shelves so I get to use my dado jig for the first time on a proper project. So in my router I've got a straight cutter that has a bearing on it that's going to run on my jig. I get one of my shelf pieces put into the jig, the fence pushed tight and then the star knobs done up. The jig then gets lined up with my pencil marks, I get it clamped into place and push the router up one fence and bring it back down the other to cut the slot. A little test and it seems a pretty good fit so I get this done for all the shelves. I'm going to get this all put together with some glue and screws but I want all the screws to be plugged and I want the holes to be a nice uniform pattern so I mark out the position where I want all the screw holes to go. Then I can get all the holes drilled with the countersinking bit that comes in my plug cutter set. This set will be in the tools I use page down below. With all the holes drilled I can get some PVA wood glue applied, get the joints pushed together and then I use some of these corner clamps I got to hold it in place while I get the screws driven in. I definitely feel the limitations of my workshop when working on something this big. But having the table saw and the bench together gives me quite a good workspace. But to give myself even more room to work, I'm just going to move this over onto a couple of saw horses. Now, the two end panels have the slots in for the shelf, but I need a couple of internal dividers put in with other slots to match up. So again, I mark out where they need to go and then get the countersunk holes drilled for them. I can then get some glue on, then pushed into place and screwed in. So all these screw holes are either on the top of the unit or underneath it, so will never be seen, but I'm going to plug them anyway. So I've a scrap bit of oak, I just get a load of plugs cut and then I can get them popped out. Some wood glue goes in the holes, I get a plug in and tapped into place, 
trying to get the grain orientation the same. While I wait for the glue to dry on the plugs, I can start work on the shelves. So I just measure how long they need to be and then I can sneak up on the cut on the table saw and get them put into place. To hang it to the wall, I'm gonna use a cleat that's mounted in the center. So I measure that recess and then I can get a piece cut down to the length on the table saw. I then get the blade tilted over to 45 degrees. I can now get this piece roughly ripped in half at the 45 degree angle. So how this is gonna work is one piece is gonna get attached to the unit and then the other piece will get attached to the wall and the two bits will slot back together. So I get the first piece glued into the unit and then screwed in place. On the second bit, I mark out where I want the screws to go and then I can get some little recesses drilled and some of these brass screw inserts put in place. Time I've got all that done, the glue's dried, so I can trim these plugs flush, and then I give the whole thing a sand down. So as this is gonna be a kitchen shelf, I want the finish to be very hard wearing. So I'm using some Treetex hard wax oil in a clear matte finish. This stuff is food and toy safe, so it should be perfect for this. I get the first coat on, leave it for about 10 minutes and wipe off any excess, and then I get a second coat on later. Now, one more detail I'd like to add to this is a place to store some wine glasses. So I work out how long the bit's gonna to need to be, and then I use some of the off cuts from these boards to cut down some little pieces to hold the glasses. So these need a rebate for the glasses to slide into. I roughly mark out where it needs to go, but do a terrible job because I'm trying to film it, and then I can get it cut on the table saw. This is really the same technique as when you're making a picture frame moulding like I did a few weeks ago. With four bits cut, I pre-drill some holes for some screws, and then I can get some more finish applied to these. When a couple of coats of finish is cured, I can then get them screwed to the underside of the cabinet. With the first one in place, I can use that as a reference to work out where the second one needs to go, and then I keep repeating it until all four are in place. So that's it done. Now I just need to get it attached to the wall. So first, I work out where this cleat needs to go. I then use a small drill bit just to go through my existing holes just to mark the wall. Then I can drill larger holes and get some big heavy duty plugs in. The cleat then gets screwed to the wall. The advantage of this cleat system is it makes it really easy to install, as I might have struggled on my own doing it a different way. So now all I've got to do is lift this unit up and hook it over that cleat and that's it done. Making this an extremely easy install. Now I can just get it all filled up and get the wine glasses put into place. So that's it all done, and I'll show you some of the other projects I've done in the kitchen. So there's the pan rack above the window, my nice badger mug collection on there. I've got the spice rack I think I did last year, the towel holder, my magnetic knife rack, and my utensils. So that's it all done, and I'm really pleased with how this looks. Now I just need some guests around for dinner. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.